All right, so if you're not participating in dry January, we have something for you to try today, a cocktail that protects the ocean. I recently learned how to make it from Martian Jan Mokhtari. Now, the husband and wife team, they are the team behind Grey Whale Gin. Check it out. We're going to start with the real hello there. It's one of our favorite cocktails. It's really simple and shows off all the botanicals. So simply put, we, we start out with uh, a mixing cup. Let's go with two ounces of gray whale gin. Okay, two ounces. We're gonna get your, your jigger like this. We're gonna put two ounces in. Then work on the garnish. And then fresh lemon juice. Pop okay, an ounce. At least we did lemon juice. All done. Half an ounce. And it's so important to do fresh. And then half an ounce of lime juice as well. Okay. And finally. Half an ounce of agave syrup. This is just the sweetness. So if you're if you're watching this, ah, I don't know if I like too sweet. Well, then just go a little bit less. I don't have agave syrup, but I have simple syrup. Will that work? Perfect substitute. That works great. Then we're going to add a little ice to the cocktail shaker. A margarita. So that's one of the reasons we love it. It's very approachable. We like to say it tastes like summer in a glass. It so really does. Mm -hmm. And you always do a gin and tonic, but something like this, it just kind of evokes the, the beautiful gray whale. And by the way, you can see the, the Californian coast right here, right in our logo. That's what ingredients. I wondered what that was. I see, I see Baja California right there hanging off in the end. I love that. All the ingredients are from that migratory path of the gray whale. And Jan will tell you a little bit more about our ocean conservation efforts on the back of the bottle. But I'm going to shake while we All do right, that. I'm going to shake too. So let's take a moment. And then all we're going to do is strain this into um, a beautiful box glass. So it should look something like this. Now I put mine in my Seattle World's Fair glass. So you can't see mine because it's frosted. You can see yours. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Well, cheers to you. Cheers to you, bottoms up. This, this one's Jan's favorite, so I'm gonna so, let her drink this. I'll take this one over. That is so good. That does taste like summer in a cup. And while that. you're drinking, you're supporting ocean conservation, which is a whole nother level of refreshment. You can just chill. So not only, Am I enjoying a nice beverage? But I'm also, am I saving the whales? Tell me about your ocean conservation efforts. Yeah, yeah you can see right here on the back of the bottle. We do it all to support ocean conservation with our partners, Oceana, and 1% for the planet. Um, it is so important. Um, our oceans are in the biggest jeopardy they've ever been. So anytime you see, I see a company that's, you know, trying to support ocean preservation, we're all in. We both come from um, different backgrounds and none of us have ever worked in the spirits and we combined our passions for gin and, and conservation. It was important to our kids and our daughters and it was a cool story. We were on a camping trip when we came up with it and now can't believe this many years later, here it is. I love that. What a great story. I hope you were camping on the coast. Were you in Big Sur when you were doing it? Oh, yeah. We were totally. Obviously. <laughs> it's a very inspiring place. Uh, let's let's go back to the fun though and make this next cocktail. So fresh mint, just straight into the cocktail shaker. Next, we're going to add half an ounce of simple syrup. This is going to add a little sweetness, and this is where it becomes an ocean side as opposed to an east side. It's just a little pinch of sea salt going directly in there. Lime juice. We're going to do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And then two ounces of gray whale gin. A big shake. So the shake is going to muddle those beautiful mint uh, to release that essential oil. And you're going to see we're going to do a double strain in a moment because we're going to add some bubbly water to the bottom of the glass. I'm going to add a little bit of the cocktail, like so. And then I'm going to add ice, and I'm going to top it off with the rest of the cocktail. Why did you add the bubbly water? Well, just to just to give it a little proper mixation. You don't want to you don't want to add the bubbles right at the end, otherwise it won't mix correctly. Yeah, otherwise you're going to get 
the first sip of that cocktail is just going to be all bubbles. Right. That's and a really good point. Spank the mint leaf a little. It releases some essential oils. Garnish like so. And it should look a little bit like this. And I'll bring it up to your screen. Oh, I want that. Can That's you get That's That looks delicious. Well, you can find the recipe for the cocktails we made today at NewDayNorthwest.com. Well, many of us are still trying to understand the events that took place at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Now, how do we talk to our kids about events like this? That's the big question. So we're going to get a trauma psychiatrist advice after the break.